I feel that going to America to study had nothing to do with being sure. You, you She's lost around 40 kgs. It took her somewhere close to a year and a half. Sarah okay. is a foodie. She had to avoid all kinds of junk because pizzas and burgers were really her thing. So she understood that the moment she cuts off junk, one main thing is gone from her diet. The second thing she understood that she has to start working out. So that okay. one and a half more issues with her losing weight anymore because she's perfect as of now. But when she was losing the weight, it was crazy. Like extremely motivated, no cheat days, cut everything off and she got it done. Yeah. I'm not an expert in nutrition, so I don't necessarily know which diets work or not. But I know that balance is key. You can't do one or the other without giving the other up. You can't be on a diet and not work out or the other way around. I think you need to yeah. have a balance for sure. I honestly feel that women should be women's best friends. But unfortunately, in the world that we live in, it's really not that way. I think it's the woman that will first say, Are, look at her, she's looking so fat. Are, she's looking so bloated. So I think it's this whole agenda of like kind of adhering to this perfect image when I don't even know who came up with it. Like who decides what's perfect? I mean, if you want to be a little larger than what, you know, the neighbor's wife thinks you should be, then you be that. Just be healthy because I think that's important. I still do. And I think that it was important for me to kind of get in shape also because it's like, you know, keeps you healthier and that's important. But yeah, of course, there are moments, whether it's those trolls on social media or it's, you know, bigger people, there is a pressure to look or be a certain way that is very palpable and very there. I think that because I was as fat as I was for as long as I was, I have grown up. I don't know how much of my two friends' denial and delusion have helped me, but I have grown up kind of deriving my confidence not from the way that I look. But now, because a large part of my profession and, you know, even commercially depends on the way that I look, yes, there is a little bit of pressure. And yes, it does get nerve wracking. And of course, it can affect your confidence, you know. You read like rude comments, so people will say stuff, and it can pull you down. So you need to kind of remind yourself from time to time that you are the only person that truly has the agency to make yourself feel the way that you should and you know people will say what they have to say and there comes a point where yes like you said and like we were talking about like a couple of minutes earlier in a different context that that's not my problem that's your problem yeah but in a slightly more realistic tonality I can't change that I can't change the fact that you're going to pressurize me. In an ideal world, yes, all of you should be okay with all shapes and sizes, but maybe you're not. Hmm. So the second best alternative and the much more realistic alternative is to really tune it out and know for yourself what works and not pay heed to other people trying to bring and you down. And eat the goddamn banana chips. And eat the, I'm going to eat the banana chips <laughs> on the flight back. Okay. <laughs>